Every researcher has a dream. They want to discover something. They want to change the world. Just look at our advances in applying machine learning to solving problems in healthcare. There's amazing work being done right now in detecting, and I believe ultimately thwarting, breast cancer. Advances in neuroscience, including slowing, stopping, maybe even reversing Alzheimer's. Promising new initiatives like the Jamil Clinic, which advances solutions at the intersection of AI and healthcare, the Center for Molecular Therapeutics, and many, many more. All these initiatives will enable MIT to help make a better world. If you look at uh, working uh, remotely in COVID or healthcare in COVID when you couldn't see your doctor physically, all of these things have been massively changed by computing. What's clear is that there's huge impact to almost every aspect of our daily lives because computing is making healthcare more effective. Here at MIT, we are surrounded by brilliant people who have excellent ideas. I'll give you one wonderful idea that is really turning into a therapy. If you strobe light at a particular magic frequency, it has therapeutic benefits for brains and it could be a game changer for one of the most debilitating parts of human aging, which is Alzheimer's disease. And it was funded by philanthropy here at MIT. MIT's humanities, arts, and social science fields focus on the many societal dimensions of health. That includes the relationship of human and planetary health. Our economics department is home to a number of the world's most influential health economists. Their research influenced national health care policy. When COVID hit, we did what MIT engineers do. We rose to the occasion, united by a shared sense of purpose. In a nanosecond, it was all minds and hands on deck. Our researchers lived and breathed the problem, going the extra mile to find solutions. Face shields, low-cost ventilators, rapid tests, vaccines, just to name a few. During the early days of the pandemic, a young MIT anthropologist, Amy Moran Thomas, discovered that a common and critical medical device, the pulse oximeter, just flat out gives faulty data for people with darker skin. Amy quickly shared this discovery in a research article in media interviews. That galvanized efforts now currently underway throughout the medical community to re-engineer the pulse ox to be more accurate for all patients. A mighty advance for equity in medicine. Breakthroughs have to happen, and they will happen, but they need to be big. The support of our donors has been absolutely crucial. It's an investment at the beginning. The enthusiasm and the sense of discovery, it's really contagious and it's captivating. These discoveries, their time will come. <laughs>